You're watching the LASIK Minute with the Eye Man. Today's topic, treatment for dry eyes with drops. So as we have been discussing about dry eyes, you know the different causes and also the symptoms like the redness and the irritation. It's very important that before doing any LASIK procedure or laser vision correction or for that matter any eye surgery including lid surgery or blepharoplasty, eye uh, dryness is treated. And you'll be surprised in a state like California how many people are suffering from dry eyes without knowing. So if at the end of the day your eyes get tired and you feel like rubbing your eyes and a lot of time you're just thinking it's allergies but it might be dry eyes. So one of the mainstay of dry eye treatment is artificial tears. There's many companies out there with artificial tears in bottle forms. And so this is a standard uh, over-the-counter drops. You can start anytime you feel like these drops are better than those commercials you see about taking the red out because those are medicated and can have side effects. These drops have preservatives, so you should not put more than four times a day. So what if you need more than four times a day? Or you've had surgery and you do, uh, like LASIK and you don't want excessive preservatives going into your eye, then you switch to preservative-free artificial tear drops. These are uh, similar consistency toward uh, eye tears, and, but they don't have the same enzymes like the eye tears. So eye tears are still the best but the chemical composition is very similar to eye tears. They have minerals etc. So you can put up to every one hour these drops. Make sure you don't touch your eye when you're putting the drops. Now if the artificial tears fail we've got two different options. Either we can go to medicated drops like Ristasis or use a quicker procedure like punctal occluders. In the next set of uh, our LASIK Minute shows, we'll be discussing each one separately. Thank you.